Hi there! Torley here, and we're in 2009, apparently. If one of your resolutions is to be more productive and effective, consequently, <laughs> I've got a great Firefox add-on, officially one of my favorites. It's called Tree Style Tab, and we'll get the magic working, so we're just here at Google. Look for Tree Style Tab. What it does is it adds vertical tabs to your Firefox browser, meaning they all line up on the left like you see here. Just you add it, and once that's done, let me just quickly do the command T thing. So I can add a bunch of tabs. They're all blank here. And the ones that are red are ones that I haven't browsed to yet. That's a, that's not part of this. That's part of uh, Tab Mix Plus, which is a wonderful complement. So you have the two of them and they pack a powerful punch. Now what's really cool, I'm going to middle click uh, my middle mouse button of course and you can see that these new tabs start appearing there. Now you might ask why the heck would you want to have vertical tabs? It quickly becomes apparent if you're a tab power user, especially if you use a widescreen monitor like I am, that a dinky row of horizontal tabs is not going to do you that much. Of course you've got to scroll back and forth or depending how you have it set up you have multiple rows of tabs which just gets awkward. Okay, think about how telephone books and other sorts of things are organized with columns like this. So you have a column of tabs. This is how you display a large amount of data like that. And what's really cool is since it has nested hierarchies, you can collapse and expand if you want to hide those tabs. You can hide them all and then you can middle click, uh, that's another tab mix plus thing, to just, woo, they're all gone. And what's really cool as well, let me go to Daily Drive. Here are some of my favorite websites. I got into the bargains folder, so I have a bunch of different bargains things. I'm just going to open all in tabs like that. And here, it just clear the selection. Again, some of this is configurable, but the commonality, of course, is you're going to have it like this. You can also set it so you can change the width if you want to. You can make it larger or bigger, depending on how much screen space you have. And again, these are ones I haven't read. So I'm a tab power user. I usually like to go, oh, are there any deals here? Scrolly, scrolly, scroll. And no, no deals. Uh, scrolly, scrolly, scroll. So and for fa. And just close them out like that. And like I illustrated earlier, of course, if you just have lots and lots and lots of tabs, you can drag and drop to reorder them if you ever wish. I usually don't. I usually just read them and bookmark them or whatever. And of course, there's more options if you right mouse click. You could do all sorts of things with the Tab Mix Plus as well. It's really handy, and uh, you're not going to see the Tools menu here. Let me go to Tools, though. It's going to be sort of clipped off, but go to the Add-ons. And here's all my, you can see inside the private world. Uh, <laughs> let's go to, it's kind of near the bottom. Let me move this up here so you can see this more clearly. Tree style tab right here, preferences. So you have all manner of different operations you can do. It's customizable to hack some. This might seem intimidating, but I found the defaults are quite nice. So you can change the behaviors, little things that make a big difference. So yeah, if you ever want to efficientize and elegantize so you can effectivize your tabology and your firefoxology, <laughs> check it out, Tree Style Tab, one of my favorites. At first, you may not see the point, but once you get rolling, if you're a tab power user, like self-proclaimed me, as you can see, it's got a lot of reviews. It's just when people discover this, they go uh, censored word, but <laughs> they are delighted by it, as us, as it was I certainly. So check it out, tree style tab, a wonderful joy in the new year.